Today I'm going to show you the most useful Linux technique you'll ever learn, and I mean that. It's this. Reverse eye search. What is that? That reverse searches your bash history. Your bash history is any command you've ever entered will be entered into a file that you can then reference at any time. For example, whenever I want to start a Python development environment, I have to type source vmv uh, bin activate. Obviously, I could tag complete that, or I could just press Control R and search S O U R source. There we go. It comes up. Then bin activate. There we go. Or I could just go P Y. Yeah. Python. I can press Control R many times. So this is running certain Python programs that I've been working on. There's activating a virtual environment. That's making one. That's running a development environment. Look how useful this is. All right. I've just opened up this file in Vim. Vim spells dot JSON. Right. Uh, and. Um, Obviously, if I want to rerun it, I can just go up, press the up arrow, which also goes through your bash history. But let's say I, I go away from now, I navigate away, you know, I close the terminal. Right, I go back there and I want to edit this file. Well, I know in my history, I can just type, start typing S-P-E-L-L-S. -L -L wow. Then, and it's already there. Done. Cool. Other useful things. So I have a, a little thing where I, you know, I want to find out my local IP address. And I use grep for that. So I can just control R local. And look at that, see, I've actually commented out, I've put a comment at the end of my command, put local IP grep, so I can control R for local, and now I get a local IP grep. Sure, that could be an alias, but this is more useful for things when you're SSHing to multiple servers, so I can do, I won't show you, but for work and for... Other things I can type, like, network boundary, and then it'll come up with the address for the network boundary, already with pre-SSH, with all my custom key config, and, you know, my username, and whatever, other custom settings. So I've just typed the history command. This is the, my recent thing. And you can see I've got 66,000 odd lines and it's all in the date. It's got the correct date for when I ran this. So if we look in this file, you can see how it actually structures it. Yes, yeah, so if we go to the top of this file, it's before I started push, putting the history commands in, but then down here, you see how it actually formats it, like with little a little hash, that's the date hash, date time hash. Right, and to get unlimited bash history, which is insanely useful, I cannot tell you the amount of times that has saved my ass, is in bash rc. So open up your bash rc history. And you just set these things here. So you want history file size is unlimited. Hist size, so how long you want your history to go back, also unlimited. Time format, long year, small month, small day, and then the time. Um, you don't actually need that because it's a default. And yeah, you can see what I've written in the comment here. But this basically says, as soon as I type the command to the shell, write it straight to history, as opposed to normally when you close your shell, it writes them into history, which has gotten me a few times when, let's say I'm in an SSH session, I've been kicked out, I lost internet connection and the shell doesn't close cleanly, it doesn't write the history. Or your computer crashes when you're working on a hard problem that causes the computer to crash. But you you, you spent ages building up a really complicated shell command. But, and you press enter and it crashes the computer. That won't be saved, but with this it will be. Uh, and you can make it even cooler by putting using fzf, but that's on a different video. Control, oh, let me reload bash, so control R. You can see I've got instantly, I, I've got a browsable history. So if I type Python, you can see the, the latest Python ones I, I've ran. But what have you, whatever. Um, there we go, that's why your bash history and control R, that's what I'm pressing. I'll show you closely. Look, this is why. Wow. That's why pressing control R is the most useful tool you can ever use on Linux. No word of lie though, I've been using it for years and I would be lost without it. It's basically me. You don't even need to remember any Linux command. You just control R for the general thing. Like, let's say, ah, oh, oh no, I forgot this sad command that I did. Control R said. Oh, you've got all your sad commands you've ever ran. Back up your history file, sync it between all your devices. It'll be mega. It's basically a second brain. Hashtag building a second brain. You're like one of those awesome YouTubers who builds a second brain. But it doesn't actually matter. Uh, because you've got your bash history. Uh, bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Put me in your bash history.